Cowboy Cheeseheads in the crowd at Lambo, out here behind us, and of course, points beyond. Where do they come from anyway? When we said our big cheese, ESPN.com's Greg Garber, to America's Dairyland to discover the answer. <laughs> Starts with the cow. The cow gives the milk. We deliver the milk to the cheese factory. We make enough cheese here, mozzarella, every day to make 120,000 pizzas every day. The uh, number of cheeses has exponentially grown to where there's over 600 varieties of cheese in Wisconsin now. Everyone loves cheese no matter where you go. And if you travel and you say you're from Wisconsin, they say, Hi, oh, you're a cheese head. They're going to take a little bit of slack from the opposing teams. What state do you think that this guy's from? He admires what he's proud of, and he's willing to wear it on his head. It's his pride. Pride in living here. They call the fans here cheeseheads. The term cheesehead really um, did come off as being derogatory. Where it came from would be from, from our uh, neighbors to the south, from Illinois. Milwaukee's County Stadium, 1987. With the Chicago White Sox in town, Brewers fan Ralph Bruno decided to wear his Wisconsin heart on his head. Well, I was reupholstering my mom's couch, so I had an extra piece of foam laying around, and I took a, a double-bladed turkey carving knife, and I carved it in the shape of a, of a wedge, and then um, had my sister's wood burner, and, and I, I put some holes in it. This was the, the original hat that, that I wore that day. Bruno began selling his version of the cheese head on consignment at Brewers Game. Go Brewers! Soon, it made the leap to Lambeau Field. Now the cheese heads are on hand. I kept hearing it, hey cheese head, hey cheese head, where, wherever somebody was wearing um, a cheese head hat, people were saying hey cheese head, so it naturally sold itself. In November of 1995, cheesehead sales got a big boost. Frank Ember Jr. survived this horrific plane crash. He was saved, some say, by his cheesehead. I had the cheesehead in my lap, and I just brought her up onto the face. And I covered it up like this. Did you remember initially going to the cheesehead? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, it could have been a pillow, it could have been anything. It just happened to be the cheesehead. Yeah, the FAA are the ones that said that credit it were saving my, my life. Emmert's story made headlines, but it was the Packers' win a year later in Super Bowl 31 that lifted the cheesehead to unprecedented heights. We got cheeseheads, lots of cheeseheads. I think he's from Wisconsin. We had UPS in one dock, uh, FedEx in another dock. Cheeseheads everywhere were flying off the shelves. When my family first got out here, that's one of the first things they asked me for. Take us to the shop where they have the cheeseheads. I've worn one a couple times, but it's more like a cheese yarmulke for, for a guy like me. So, it, you know, with the hair and the, the head size, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't fit well. Here, just south of Milwaukee, is where cheeseheads are made. Bruno's company, called Fomation, has shipped to all 50 states and more than 30 countries, offering an arresting array of products. This is our new cheese fedora. This is our, our cheese earmuffs. This hat you cannot be without. Did you say something? I like to use uh, my cheese tie. Take that out. We're going to see a lot of these in Dallas. There's a lot of Packer fans that have at least a half dozen of these can holders in their trunk. You sell these in your store? We do sell quite a bit, yes. Do, are there people who think it's really cheese? Uh, we haven't had anyone yet that has thought it's cheese. Perhaps more than any real cheese, these sometimes personalized polyurethane foam hats are responsible for transforming what was once a negative term into an unabashed source of pride. I mean, nothing gets better than being a Packer fan, being a cheesehead. Am I a cheesehead? Of course. Cheese! 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 When you put the cheesehead on, you're kind of a different person. You're a character almost. Cheese! 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 A Wisconsin cheesehead is, it's not just a hat. I think it's a person. I think it's emotion. It's a spirit. Yeah, you want to call me a cheesehead, that's fine. Cheese. You know, what's funny is that uh, the Bear fans that are sitting in their living rooms watching now are going to be eating the cheese that we make watching the Packers win the Super Bowl. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs>